you guys hook up? Was it everything you thought it would be? She seems like a bit of a pillow princess. Let's just say we had an amazing connection. How long have you been downloaded? 26 days. So what are you doing here? Okay, it takes place in the near future where if you know you're gonna die, you can upload your consciousness to a digital afterlife, but these are not heavens. These are run by big corporations. Everything's an upcharge. Um, I meet my, I'm my character, self-driving car crashes. I die, I'm missing some memories. I meet my angel, Nora, who's my customer service rep. Uh, we start to have this relationship. She's a real person. I'm an upload. Is it going to work? Is it not going to work? You find out that um, my current girlfriend, Ingrid, who uploaded me is a little bit crazy and possessive and her dad might be in on the plot to kill me because I was creating a digital afterlife that was going to be free and threaten these trillion dollar industries. Um, the show is a satire. It's a comedy. Um, it poses some very interesting questions. And if you want to look into those, that's great. If you want to just sit back and watch a comedy, that's great too. Ingrid, wow. yeah, that's amazing. I think we're done. A plus. Let's, let's go. Ingrid, wow. with you, when you got the script, did you ever think that this show can actually be a reality in our lifetime? Because again, oh. times have changed. We got Elon, we got Amazon, everyone's uploading memories. Like, what, what was your thoughts about that? I mean, yes. We, we first, I first got the script in 2017, and that was before one of the Koch brothers passed away. That was before vape lung was a thing. That was before we were talking about like Neuralink and putting chips in people's brains. All of these things have been headlines like in the past five years. And it feels like every script I read, I'm like, okay, this isn't just television. This is a crystal ball. And I need to start investing in some of these technologies because Greg uh, can see into the future. He's a mage and um, uh, this is just a predictor of what's gonna come next. I take it very seriously. And if you had a real life chance, would you upload yourself? You know, my answer has changed over the years. I think initially it was a yes, because I was like, oh, I would get to do what all the things that I've wanted to do in life. And, and I could, you know, learn languages at a drop of a hat. And, and now I think, you know, where I am today is I wouldn't, I think I, I would want to be done. Um, I, 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 I want to make the most of this life and do it all, do as much as I can. And, and then on my deathbed, smile and be like, you know what? That was a life well lived. Thank you, everybody. And good night. Um, and I call yeah. bullshit <laughs> <laughs> on your deathbed. They're going to be like, you want to upload? You're like, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it all done. <laughs> That's a fair one. You're like, all right, let me just see what it's like before I go. Let me just give me just taste. a couple months. Get a taste. Just a couple months. Yeah, I'll taste and then I'll jump into the torrent. Yeah. Exactly. There you go. Robbie, the same question for you because you live in this dream right now. Yeah, I, 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 I would definitely upload as a last resort. Like, I want as much time here as possible because if the idea is you can't go backwards, then give me everything I can in this life. And then I'll upload and I'll do that for as long as I can. And then, uh, and then, like Andy said, just jump in the torrent when it's all finished and see what's next. <laughs> Allegra, how fun is it playing someone who's like off to the left a little bit and off to the right a little bit? Just kind of like, you know, playing this type of thing that's outside the box. I love how generous you are with like a little bit and a little bit. Like <laughs> she, she is more than a little bit, but um, it is the most fun. It's why it's, I think it's really why I wanted to act at all is to be outside of myself and to explore the edges of, all right, how cuckoo can we be? Um, and, uh, and I'm just so lucky that the gift keeps on giving and that the, the scripts just get better and better and better and that the writers just give me a three ring circus to do. Um, <laughs> and that every time I see a new scene, I get this like pit of, oh, I'm nervous and oh, I'm excited. Like that's the sweet spot. It's it's the best. Andy, how much would you do for love? Would you would you just <laughs> jump in and just like, hey, just, let's go for it. <laughs> that's a complicated question. I know it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've done a lot of things for love and I, I might, you know, I'm a little burned right now. So you're catching me at a point where I don't know, you know, I have, I have boundaries now. I have, I have standards. Um, 
And uh, I, I think my, my 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 limit of what I would do for love is is you know is in a is in a transition. So I would um, I don't know. I would do a lot, but I, I have boundaries today. <laughs> so right. I'm happy to say that I'm I'm much healthier. <laughs> so making yourself a computer program is probably won't be on the list in real life. <laughs> no, no. But if someone wants to do that for me, I would love that. See, it's always different when it's reciprocated. Yeah, <laughs> you do it first, and then then I'll decide. I'll be back to you. Like starting this thing, like you guys started before COVID, and now you you know you survived through COVID, and now you're coming out on the other end. How has the show like maintained its course through all everything that's happening outside the world? Oh man, um, I mean, like like Allegra said, Greg has predicted so many things on the show, and the only downside to that is from scripts to shooting the show to release is a little over a year. Like Greg likes to have most of the season written before we start shooting. And then we shoot and then with post-production and the visual effects. And because everything up until this point would release all at once, they would, and they would dub it into every language that Amazon outputs into or that prime video outputs into. So it was over a little over a year. So the problem with that is some things would happen in real life and it would look like, the show copied them from real life, whereas it was actually the other way around. Greg would put them in the show and they would happen in real life. So, um, you know, just some of the things that you've seen happen, whether it be during COVID or before COVID or, or post COVID, that was kind of something interesting to see happen. Shooting through COVID was, was hard, but we also realized how lucky we were to be working. So everybody took it very, very uh, seriously and, and the mandates that were enforced um, on the show were, were great and kept everybody safe. Uh, we shot in Vancouver and, um, and, and there were protocols that just kept everybody, uh, in a good place. And we, you know, uh, like I said, we were just very happy to be working and to, to get to continue telling the story and making the show and bringing something to people while they were, you know, kind of stuck at home. It's still amazing because I heard you guys are doing masks before masks became a thing. Mm hmm that's great. Yeah. That, it's that yep. scene in the pilot. It was yeah. people sitting on the bus. And I think that was a costume design choice, I'm pretty sure, where they just thought about the future and how the air pollution would get to a point in 2033 where we would just incorporate it into our fashion. And then watching that scene in 2020 in May was, it mm -hmm. sent a chill down my spine. I was like, yeah. whoa, 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 weird. I, th I love the um, uh, individual, independent, separate from family, discover self um, um, mission for her. Um, but I also don't want it to go very well. I want it to be messy and full of mistakes and really chaotic and lots of screaming. I don't ever want to stop screaming. Um, and then I think in terms of pitch for the show, like there is something actually for everyone. There is suspense, there is romance, there is comedy, and it feels sometimes like you're watching a cartoon in the best way, where you really never know what's going to come on your screen next. And, um, and I love that. Uh, it's, it's wacky and, and so funny. There's a big problem with the AI. What are you doing? Taking time off. You don't get time off. I was told to act more human-like. To be human is to avoid work. You're a thing like a screwdriver. My bad. Back to work then. Lord help I me. Mean, upload season three. Well, seasons one, two, and three on Prime Video. Out now, full seasons. Binge, you'll be done in, you know, you can get it all done in one day. So it really doesn't take much time. You will have a life experience at watching this show. You will laugh, you'll cry. And uh, it's just a, it's a wonderful, a wonderful journey. So that, that we take everybody on, so. Yes, watch now.